This is Reverend Don Lewis coming to you from beautiful Florida. And today our question comes to us from Lady Jin. And Lady Jin has recently achieved her third degree. Congratulations, Lady Jin. And she has this question, what she refers to as the ever controversial question of whether to blow out your candles or snuff them out. And if you ask me, which of course Lady Jin is, uh, I have a very distinct preference for snuffing out candles as opposed to blowing them out. And in my teachings, this is what I teach. And there are a number of reasons for this, and the reasons are these. The first is tradition. In the background that I come from, it is traditional to snuff them out. Uh, this was a common practice for working with candles in both magical and mundane situations historically, and uh, it is very common in magical circles. And I think that as a tradition, it should be respected. One of the reasons for that, it's also more dignified, I think, to snuff them out than to blow them out. And when you're doing public ritual, that can be important. Uh, it also is a little safer, depending on the candle that you are using. If you're using, for example, a pillar candle or certain sorts of pillar candles, quite a bit of hot wax can be pooling at the top of that candle. And if you blow it out, you're risking blowing that hot wax all across your working surface, whatever it may be. Uh, and I've seen people do this. I think that historically, this was one of the more important reasons that people did tend to snuff their candles, because that uh, is certainly not a happy uh, occasion when you've blown hot wax all over everything, particularly if it's another person. Uh, so that's another reason I think that snuffing candles is good. Uh, the other is that it's much more precise. Although it certainly is possible to go to snuff a candle and be unsuccessful, I think it happens much less often than when you're trying to blow them out. And depending on what you're doing, trying to put out your candle and failing is not always a good omen. Now, of course, there are different circumstances when working with candles and you want to interpret omens according to what you're doing, uh, but I've just never really thought it was a good thing to fail to put out the candle when you wanted to put it out. And snuffing the candle makes it much more likely that you will succeed the first time. So these are reasons that I think uh, snuffing your candle is preferable. Uh, they are, in my opinion, good reasons for it. However, that is not to say that it's a terrible, terrible thing to blow it out. Uh, but I think that it's preferable to snuff it out. Now, having said that, part of this question is also the idea that if you blow it out, you will offend the fire elementals because you put out fire with air. And I think that's ridiculous, uh, to be blunt. And if that were the case, if the fire elementals were going to be angry because you blow out a candle, 90% of the fire elementals would be angry because most people blow out their candles. And that's not what I see. And even when people are using them in liturgical or magical purposes and they blow out their candle, I have not seen bad metaphysical effects from it. Therefore, I do not consider that to be a good reason for snuffing out your candle. I think that's rather a silly superstition. So those would be my thoughts. Again, I do favor snuffing candles in part because of tradition, in part for practical reasons. Uh, but not because of being afraid to offend the flame spirits. Um, I think that's just a little bit of boogie-boogie nonsense. So, those would be my thoughts on the matter. I hope you find them helpful. And until next time, may you blessed be.